Hey guys, welcome back to Rossoneri TV. I'm Gio and I'm here for the match review of Bologna against AC Milan. Match that finished moments ago at the Stadio Dallara where Milan won 1-0 thanks to a goal coming in from Carlos Baca just moments before the halftime whistle from the penalty spot. And uh, we finally got the win that we needed after failing to do so in the past three games against Carpi, Elas Verona and uh, Frosinone. And this win once again momentarily puts us ahead of Sassuolo by two points as we await for their fixture tomorrow against Frosinone. But my first reactions from this game, as many of you would say the same if you watch the match, one of the most boring matches of the season. Uh, once again, the performance from Milan was very poor all around. Uh, no determination, no goodwill, just no will to push forward and actually uh, score more goals. It's just embarrassing considering the fact that we were up a man for about 80 minutes during this match. And if it wasn't for that penalty shot, we wouldn't have scored another goal. Uh, so once again, you would assume that maybe... Uh, with a man more for the entire game, or almost the entire game, you would expect some better plays altogether, some spaces opening up for Milan to penetrate through that Bologna defense, but that definitely was not the case, as Bologna shut themselves very well. And uh, Milan, as you see in the previous matches, they just can't cope with teams that close themselves well like that, and it's very, very easy for uh, these teams to defend against Milan, as you've seen, they were unable to score more than one goal, and uh, in terms of creating chances and finishing them, we were very, very poor, as you would expect. In the first half, we relied mainly on uh, high balls, uh, in which pretty much gave us no result. In the second half, we got some more chances, uh, more towards uh, Luis Adriano. He actually got a few chances himself, but he wasn't able to convert them successfully. But uh, the bottom line of this game, guys, is that once again, it's an embarrassing performance from Milan. The only good thing that we can get from this match is that we got the win, we got the result that we needed, but no one could be happy about seeing a performance like this in any scenario whatsoever. This is also considering the fact that we're playing against Roma next week in our final Serie A match in which we probably need to win in order to clinch at least the 6th place. And then the week after we're playing Juventus in the Coppa Italia final. I just don't know how we're going to get results against those teams if we continue to play like we did against Bologna in the past 3 games. It just doesn't make any sense and you will probably uh, think that we will get killed in these matches if we continue playing like this. Because honestly, I don't see any motivation from these players. Most of these players, it seems like they're already on vacation mode. They're in summer mode. They're ready to lie down on the beach or something. Uh, knowing that the job is not yet done. We have these two crucial games against Roma and Juventus. In which we need to win at least one of them to uh, qualify to the Europa League, technically speaking. And... Um, even there, I just don't know if we're going to do it, guys. With performance like these... Uh, it's just embarrassing altogether and I just don't see the right collectiveness, the right chemistry between our players in which can't even create a play against these bottom of the table teams. Imagine what we're going to do against these top teams like Roman Juventus. Um, as far as player performances, I can't really pinpoint someone that was extraordinary for Milan today. Um, Really, it was such a rough start to the match with Jose Mauri and Diawara already getting a little scrap and Diawara getting sent off after 12 minutes. Uh, other than that, the referee gave uh, so many uh, cards. It was a pretty physical match and uh, Bologna almost got that equalizer which would have been even more embarrassing for Milan just a few minutes away from the full-time whistle. But it was correctly disallowed by the linesman. So I guess right now all we can do is wait, wait for Sassuolo's result against uh, Frosinone tomorrow. Hopefully they drop some points and uh, after that it's all going to depend on what happens in that last match day for us against Roma. Uh, so I guess right now it's a waiting game. But once again, I'm not happy about the performance whatsoever. I know we could do better and the result I think in my opinion was a bit of a lie. Uh, Bologna could have definitely deserved a bit more than the, a loss today. And they played in ten men, with 10 men for the entire game. 
I think they deserve something more uh, for how bad and poor Milan played all together. But let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. What do you think about the game and certain players? If you want to talk about uh, certain players down below, feel free to do so. I will respond and acknowledge your feedback. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Rossoneri TV to stay updated with everything related to AC Milan on a daily basis. And I'll catch you guys later for another video. This has been Gio, signing off from Rossoneri TV. And as always, Forza Milan!